All right, time to make a coffee cup. Here we go. So I'll hit the 7 on the number pad, go to top view, select the square, hit the X button to delete it. Shift A to add a mesh will make it a circle. Uh, could also have gone up here to add, but I prefer using the shortcut. Uh, select it, and go to side view, uh, go into edit mode. You can do that up here or hit, hit the tab button. Hit the extrude key E, and I'm going to hold down the control button so it extrudes in even increments. And click with the left mouse button to uh, put it into place. I'm also going to go to wireframe view mode up here in the top right, viewport shading. And I'm going to hit the S button to scale that out a little bit. I'll use the G key to grab it and lift it up. Again, I'll hold the control button to constrain it to even increments. And I like the proportions of that. That looks pretty good. Then I, I'm going to use a shift middle mouse. I'll scroll in with the scroll wheel, shift middle mouse. Uh, actually, I'm just going to make sure the bottom ones are not selected. They are not. That's important. Extrude again, E key. And I'm just going to do a very small extrusion. It's not going to be perfect. Scale it in a bit. Extrude down. Uh, and scale it in a little bit. S key. And finally, do one more extrusion. Take it all the way down to the bottom. Control button to constrain it. Click. Scale it in. And there we go. We've got a coffee cup. The only thing is the coffee's going to fall out of the bottom, so we should go face and fill, or Alt-F is the shortcut key. Okay, hit the tab button so we're in edit mode. Let's go into the shading, viewport shading, so we can see it. Uh, we could go set smooth. And all we have to do is go object, shade smooth. And if you don't like that, we can also add a modifier. And I'll just put a subdivision surface in there. And that actually makes it look pretty good. Okay. Don't worry about little flaws like inside. That doesn't matter. I'm not worried about that. Okay. So let's add a handle to this coffee cup. So I'll hit A twice to deselect everything. If, it's, if we left click to select A, um, the first time you hit it, selects all. And when you hit it the second time, two times rapidly, it deselects everything. We want to deselect everything. Notice the 3D cursors over here. If we shift right mouse click, we can move the 3D cursor wh wherever we want. I'll put it here. Shift A adds a mesh. We'll make it a circle. Now, the only thing is uh, we don't necessarily need to have quite so many vertices on that circle. Uh, but I'll, yeah, I'll, leave it, I'll leave it for now. It's okay. We'll just go with the default. Scale that down. I also want to isolate it. I find it easier to work in isolation mode. It's the backslash key on the number pad next to numlock, way over in the right. So all we've done is isolate it. If I want to bring it back, hit the backslash key again. Okay, so backslash isolates. And I'm going to need to move the 3D cursor over to here because we're going to spin the object around the 3D cursor. So shift, right click. And I'm going to shift middle mouse to move it over a little bit. Hit the tab button. So we get that view. Uh, I'll click on the spin button. And then what we want to do, once we've selected that, there we go, didn't work the first time. We can choose X, Y, or Z. Uh, that's the one we want, I think. And we'll just drag it right over like that. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now, we can also specify under tool here the number of steps. And you can see there's 12 here. So what I'm going to do is undo that, and I'm going to set the number of steps to, I don't know, uh, 18. And we'll just drag it again. And you can see there are more stops now. Hit the tab button, backslash to bring it back here, rotate R key to s and G key to grab it. I'll have to go to top view to make sure. Uh, I got lucky it's in the right place. It might have been way over here somewhere, but it's not. And that actually looks pretty good. Uh, I probably would also want to go object and shade smooth, and I think I'm done my coffee cup. There we go. That's it. Over and out.